All right, this video I showed how to create a works for all your little girls to cake. So I took my elements that I had on my work board um, and I just placed them um, in a way that made sense here. So we have the little girl, she's kind of thinking, she's saying, you know, I want a big cake, but I need help. Who should I ask? So the user is given two options. She, you can either click on the sister or you can click on the mom. Um, and this is non-linear, which means that it doesn't matter which, which one they pick first or which one they pick at all. So we're going to start here, and I'm just going to show you how this is going to work. So I'm going to launch it here. Okay, so now we have our presentation. So now let's say I decide I'm going to click on um, the mom first. So I'm going to click on the mom and it's going to go to a slide where the mom is and the girl's going to come in and she's going to say, okay, sorry honey, but I'm busy. Ask your sister. So the user has to click next up here and it's going to bring it back to another screen um, that's going to give you some feedback here. You know, really? That was no help. So now you see the mom is grayed out here because we already clicked on the mom. So now we're going to click on the sister because the mom told us to ask the sister. So we're going to click on the sister and the sister will say, I can't cook, ask mom. So again, um, we'll click next, and this is going to bring us back to um, another screen. Um, we clicked on the sister. So if we had some options at this point, we could actually end it through another interaction, through another slide. But I just want to show you how I built this really quick. So let me just exit out of here. So this is actually composed of a few slides. So we have the main slide, um, this slide two is feedback for the sister and you see the sister is grayed out this is feedback for the mom and the mom is grayed out and then we have the mom screen I mean sorry the sister screen first and then the mom screen and then our work board now if we go into outline view here you'll be able to see I named them just so I know um, when I go to hyperlink where it's hyperlinking to so when she clicks on mom, it's going to go back to the feedback for option mom. Um, and when she clicks on sister, it's going to go back to feedback sister. So um, basically what I did is uh, started the first slide as a static slide here. There's no animations whatsoever. Um, but I did create two hyperlinks. And over these pictures, so these are pictures put into shape. And over the pictures, there are actually um, some circles and as you can see here so it's basically a um, oval that I put directly over the image and I attached the hyperlink to the image itself and I did the same down here now when you do the hyperlink if we go to hyperlinking here because we have the mom clicked it's gonna say okay so um, when she clicks on the mom it's gonna go to mom and if she clicks on sister it'll go to sister so that's the hyperlink there so now we have to create our feedback slides here. Um, so we have um, feedback. This is for the sister because she clicked on the sister, so that's why the sister's grayed out. And again, this is just another oval that I put over the sister that's a colored oval to kind of gray her out. So when they, she gets back uh, from asking the sister, when she clicks next on the top, the sister will be grayed out. And the same for the mom here. So I left the sister. Um, as uh, the emphasis because the mom was clicked and here we have the two slides for the mom and the sister and this has animation um, the little girl here is going to slide in and I did that with a motion path um, from the right to the left and the same here I kept her consistent and all I did was expand the images. So again, I would just want to show you the motion pass. Now, for the mom and, and sister, I expanded the images. Um, I just made the images smaller for the circles, for the ovals. And then down here on their screens, I just made them bigger. Um, and I try to keep it in proportion with the little girl. So that's just an easy way for you to create an interaction. Try it out. I'll upload this file so you can download it and dissect it. I hope this was useful.